Extended highlights presented by Heineken Silver, world-class light beer. Twenty-one wide player Jamie Bynum Gittins has passed a test on a back problem, and he takes his place. According to the Spanish newspapers, they need a big night in his, especially from Marata up front. He's one of the four players in the starting lineup. He's 35, Jimenez 29, Hermoso is 28. And off we go in the second leg of this Champions League quarterfinal. Morata, first goal tonight, absolutely huge. Schlotterbeck plays out to Julian Brandt. He's got Adeyemi away on the left-hand side. Fulkrug in the middle. It's an early chance for Borussia Dortmund. It should have been buried by Sabitzer. Wasteful. After the Rearson shot from the follow-up was deflected wide. To the far post it goes. East away there by Jose Maria Jimenez. Schlotterbeck had stayed forward. Lorente dispossessed him. And by the evergreen Axel Vissel. And here's a chance on the counter as Morata got the pace to get away. He has. Can he put them ahead? Oh, what a finish, but it goes wide. Little dink chip. And both teams have missed chances in the opening five minutes. Well, Dortmund left themselves wide open there. Morata got away from Savica. And as you and I thought, it looked as though it was going to go in. He lifted it over the goalkeeper, but just wide of the post. Long, long unbeaten run, didn't they? For was 22 to November of last year, unbeaten on this ground. Here's De Paul. High passes, Koke Morata again dropping deeper. Molina prods it forward. The versatile Llorente. Koke. Done well here to fashion the crossing chance, De Paul. Straight at Gregor Cobb. A little hugging match on the edge of the box. The Brandt will take the corner kick then. Oh, that comes, didn't get there. Fulkrug was in, it's another corner kick. Big old-fashioned centre forward. The goalkeeper makes a bit of a mess of this. It's half a chance, isn't it, for Fulkrug? And it's not on target. Brandt pinged it off of Black. Now, Fulkrug has looked across at the bench for a second time. See him there, just off Fulcrum. Brandt. Chan will anchor the midfield in Emery Chan. And he's Rios. And he's turned away from Depaul, the cross is just deflected, Vitzel gets something on it, Adeyemi. Nice touch. Sabitzer, brilliant recovering challenge by Jimenez. Just squeezing higher up the pitch here now, Borussia Dortmund. Hummels looks for Brandt. Opportunity here, Witzel is there. It's squeezed into the back of the net. And Borussia Dortmund take the lead on the night and level the tie. Just watch the pass from Hummels. They go Madrid, it's Witzel and his lack of pace. You can't get it in 1v1. When it comes to Rears and he plays it back to Hummels. And here's the ball with the outside of the boot. He's onside. Julian Brandt, 1v1 against Witzel. He goes past him easily. And he does the right thing. He just hits it with power across the goalkeeper. And although Old Black gets a touch to it, he can't keep it out. What a big moment that is. And what a pass that was from Hummels. Witzel goes with him with his hands behind his back. You can't really adjust your feet if you've got your hands behind your back. Mats. Memory chat. Hurdles one. Goes for goal. Absolutely right, he could have done. Oh, to 
Monaco in the first half. Sancho into the penalty area. Matson into the penalty area. It's Matson. It's 2 0. And they turn the tie on the head. Ian Matson, whose mistake led to the first goal in the first game, has put Borussia Dortmund ahead in the tie for the first time. Similar position, but an even better finish from Matson here. Some good combination down the left hand side. Matson has got pace. Comes from a throw in. And the ball gets played forward. It's a good little run by Savic. So there's the back hill, or semi back hill that makes it. And then the finish. Excellent. Across the goalkeeper again. Does Old Black get anything on it? No, he doesn't. Couldn't get any better than that from the left back. What a few minutes it's been for the home team. Atleti under pressure now. Played into exactly the area that he needed to play it. It's been a brilliant first half for the home team. Who lead 2-0. And it was a very poor first half for them. So therefore we do have the changes for Atletico Madrid. And uh, Morata is one of the players who will not be coming back on. Molina is another. And that's for the equator, as we expected. Comey's there wearing 17. He's crept up into the box on this near side. They couldn't get the cross back in. Much better tonight, Schlotterbeck, than the first game. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a great challenge. But Correa's now causing him one or two problems. He's at full extent, Schlotterbeck. Saw it down one side of the penalty box. That was down the other side. He's got good movement, Correa. Have a long time, nine years now, Correa. Griezmann's corner kick all the way through. That's a free header at the back post, and that's an own goal. Off the hapless Mats Hummels. But there was far too much space at that far post area. And Atletico Madrid have tied the tie again, and Moso was free to head. Jimenez was in a dangerous position as well, because Dortmund simply switched off, and he deflected it beyond his own goalkeeper. Well, how much time has he got here? He just runs towards the ball, then backs off. He gets away from his marker. What a great header. He just heads it back into a dangerous area. And Hummel stretching. Goalkeeper starts to move across the goal. There it is. Oh, Hummels. What a start to the second half for Atleti. One or two players out there now. Now uh, Atletico Madrid coursing through their veins. Rodrigo Riquelme and Pablo Barrios both come from Madrid and most so likewise. Here's Correa. Correa through. Correa beats the goalkeeper but beats the wrong side of the post. And like Alvaro Morata in the first half early on, he's spurred a very good chance. Well, he's looked really sharp since he's been on. It's a lovely little pass here. He gets himself half turned, he gets between the centre backs, he sets himself up nicely. Adeyemi's made a mistake. Raquel Mack, positive. Gets the cross in, looking for Correa. Trying to set up Griezmann, chance has gone. I certainly think at this stage, Stuart, with 27 minutes to go, Atletico Madrid look the, physically the sharper team. And they're creating more problems. Could be another one here. Correa, in a real difference. On the outside of Schlotterbeck, pulls it across just behind Griezmann. Becomi arriving, good save. Would it come out to Correa, blocked on the line, it comes back out to Correa! And Atletico Madrid are back in the lead in the tie. 2-2 two, two, on aggregate, the Spanish side lead 4-3. Lead he just pulls off the back of Schlotterbeck. Then he goes down the outside of him, gets a good cross into the box. There's the save by Kerbal, there's the first effort by Correa, alive, alert, good technique with the second volley. Gets underneath it, gets over it just enough, into the roof of the net, and the game has been turned around here, brilliant from him. Champions League, quarter-finals, a gift that keeps giving. For Schlotterbeck. In comes a Brunt free kick, who's going for goal. Should the keeper have held that? Chest high, punched it away. 
don't think he's had his best night. Here's Bino Gittings. Deflected up. And over. He lost the strike. Took that deflection. This is up for the corner. They've got another one. Cameo stories in the game. Bino Gittings from the bench in both sides. Brandt in the first tie, and then getting things underway today with the first goal of the night. Takes his corner kick, put it away by Griezmann. And last season, and they did, and they played very well in that final. Which people thought they were unlucky to lose that final. Savitzer with a cross into the middle, and how about this? Unfashionable Nicholas Fulcrum puts Borussia Dortmund ahead on the night. And the tie stands level at 4 4. Pizzo allows him to run in behind. Pizzo was doing nothing there. Then Fulcrook makes the run and just gets across the front of Jimenez. And it's a brilliant header. Just gets enough on it. Great leap. Good timing. No chance for Oblak this time. Great response from Borussia Dortmund. This has been a brilliant tie, hasn't it? And it's not over yet. Good centre forwards run. Gamble got across the defender, who switched off. Here's Schlotterbeck. Long. Looking for Brandt. Fulcrug in the mix again. Savitzer. Jordan. And they're ahead of the time. Two goals in two minutes. Here's where it all started. Emine Jan with the ball flying forward. Brandt does well to chest it back inside. The first box a good one. He gets it onto his left foot. Again, Old Black gets a hand to it, but not a big enough hand. Oh, could he have done better? Maybe so, but it's a good strike from Savitzer. He missed a chance in the first half, scored a couple of goals at the weekend. But he's just put his team in front here on aggregate. I remember the critics when it went from European Cup to European Champions League. Here's Fulcrum through the middle to finish this one. Good save by Old Black. I would have kept Atletico Madrid in the competition, at least for now. Oh, just one ball over the top for Krug. He looks as though he'd done everything right. The run was good, he was onside, he set himself. But Old Black made the save. Big, big chance. Both teams have had them on the night, haven't they? All the way back to those opening minutes. And Sabitzer, the one that was blocked when he should have scored, and Morata chipped it wide, went through on goal. Sancho, the player, to make way. It's a big call by the coach. Atleti score. Again, it takes it to extra time. Taken off one of your attacking players. I think he'd sit in there, wouldn't you, with Chan? Full crook. A few critics tonight. Aro Barrios laid the pass away. Cham was there. Sabitz a hit. Good save. Best save of the game. Well, it looked as though it took a deflection as well, but good strike. Sabitz playing further forward this time with his left foot. Old Black just gets a hand to it. Strikes nicely through the back of the ball. It might just come off. Jimenez. Should be going with two hands, really. Rain comes down again in a damp night. In a terrific night on the football field. Bana Gittings out wide. Griezmann, we've had the four minutes of stoppage time. Last chance to the far post. Look at Burakelme. And Matson cleared it away. The man whose mistake in the first few minutes cost him the first goal of the tie in the first leg.
but he scored tonight and he gets the last touch and Borussia Dortmund are through famously. What a night for them, 4-2 victors and 5-4 on aggregate.